20 in second hole. Uh, we're at the Roxburgh. We've just travelled from Peebles into this is just outside of Kelso uh, Hotel and Golf Resort. Very much looking forward to it. Got to a great start part first. Um, and I've just hit one right down the middle on the second. And a beautiful hole the second. Weaved its way a little bit from uh, right to left. And playing down into that green so far, immaculate condition. Just need a wedge into that green. Right, we've arrived on the fourth tee, just put the drone up, classic little Parkland par three, all water in the front, a couple of bunkers to the right, and uh, a wide open green, I've got 170, I'm going to play six iron. Hope it's enough, I don't know whether there's a bit of breeze up there, we're a bit guarded down here, we'll soon find out I suppose. That's right on the flag you know, be the right club, be the right club. Oh, that's so nice, isn't it? A ball goes straight for a change and straight at the flag as well. That's a decent birdie chance. Oh, do you know what, that was a good uh, up and down on the bunker to save par, really pleased with that, but that was a seventh hole out of interest, and I've got to say at the moment, um, really great conditions to play the course, but it's absolutely serene out here. No wind, no hole crosses over one another, very much individually designed, it's over a huge acreage this, uh, this site must be, and uh, a real good parkland course, but then throw in some incredible views that we've seen as well. I'm really enjoying it, great morning for golf. Right, I thought we'd take a little bit of a break mid-round. This is the following morning and I've just spent the night in uh, a hotel room which is as good as I've stayed at to be fair. The Roxburgh is a, uh, a very nice hotel indeed and uh, some good food, uh, really nice surroundings and rooms like I said pretty special. So if you fancy a little bit of luxury then I would highly recommend that uh, you book yourself a bit of a play and stay because as you're hopefully seeing the golf course I am really, really liking and uh, the hotel matches it. So it's, uh, it's a real nice stop off here in this part of the world. Anyway, enough of the hotel, let's get back to the golf. to note so far is uh, changing elevation is a big thing so uh, we've just played up from that sort of par three elevated tee position and then the one behind us we're about to go to is back up the hill big green complexes plenty of movement in them and the fairways as well are fairly generous and it's a kind of place that obviously attached to the hotel in terms of resort course and it's the kind of place where I think everybody can enjoy a bit of a day out uh, there's a bit of forgiveness in terms of the fairways you don't have to be necessarily right on your game I would say the thing that can uh, it, it's fairly long six and a half thousand off the yellers um, so that's probably where a bit of breeze this thing can play difficult but in terms of the like I said generosity of the fairways big greens it's a type of place where everybody can leave with uh, a bit of a smile on their face I think
probably the best golf shot I've ever played in my life. <laughs> Five wood from like 220 odd, carried all the bunkers, land on the green. Right, camera back on for two reasons. One is you're going to uh, watch me uh, try and make a birdie pot on what is stroke index one. It was a, not a great tee shot and like I said I had 220 in, carry that bunker that's behind you now, delighted with that. Uh, but what I didn't realise was it's, uh, it's almost run through the back and you'll see the river that runs through here and uh, oh, it's so pretty, you know, what a lovely place to play golf this is. I believe that the Roxburgh do uh, sort of fishing as well and no doubt uh, it's, uh, I don't know, salmon or trout fishing in there, which I think, I did ask if it was the River Tweed and I know it's not and it could be the River Tiviot, but that's probably completely wrong. Anyway, birdie putt. Stick around, see if we can make this birdie putt on, uh, on stroke one. Yeah, no, it's bold, had a crack at it, but um, just a bit too bold, I think. Took all the break out of that one, and in the end, I'm glad to make four, I suppose. Wow, it's so pretty this place, you know, so nice. Right, another par three that looks uh, pretty interesting. The 13th is 187, uh, into a bit of a breeze, and uh, we've got water to contend with from pretty much tee to green. I think it was the fourth hole we played, which was uh, another great par three. Uh, 187, like I said, into the breeze. I'm gonna try and play a, I think we'll try a four iron, and hope for the best. Do you know what? That's a solid strike. I'm doing well with the camera on today. I can't quite see in terms of distance wise, but it never moved off the flag or a couple of feet right of the flag. And uh, that's half decent that, you know. Oh, you have this in hand. Ah, oh, frustrating. After such a good uh, long iron shot and to leave the putt short. Ah. We do well to avoid a bunker on uh, 15 par three, all uphill. Um, should have walked to the green, there's a, a massive slope in this one as well, so you have to be right at the flag and hopefully feed it down. I'm talking a good game here. Straight at it, I think. I don't think it's, I can't see it, but it's not done too bad, I don't think. Oh. Well, a little bit of a fluke because I thought it was going to need to be off this, uh, you can't probably see it on the camera, there's a huge slope uh, that I was trying to pitch it up, but as it happens, it's done quite well, hasn't it? Better get me putter. Right, we just about got finished as the rain comes down, but uh, we're about to enter that building there and go and get something to eat, uh, which uh, I must admit, it looks pretty impressive. Great 18 holes of golf, enjoyed every bit of it, but like I said, from a timing perspective, that was perfect. Perfect. 